there are five theories of failure all the theories of failure are based on principal stress in the member in all of this theory failure criteria in case of member subjected to complex state of stress is correlated with the stress obtained in the material when the member is subjected to uniaxial loading that is in tension test so welcome back to one more video on theories of failure in this video you will learn numerical example on three dimensional stress system using theories of failure theories of failure includes rankin's theory which is based on maximum principal stress tresca's theory which is based on maximum shear stress beltrami and hayes theory which is based on maximum strain energy von mises theory which is also called as maximum distortion energy theory this is based on maximum shear strain energy and saint venant's theory which is based on maximum principal strain in the member so let us apply all these theories for solving a numerical problem on three dimensional stress system to solve the numerical example on theories of failure you must have knowledge of principal stress all these theories of failure are based on principal stress in the member a relationship is developed between principal stress and failure stress at elastic limit which is calculated using tension test on the member in each of these theory there are five types of problems member subjected to uniaxial force and shear force two dimensional stress system three dimensional stress system member subjected to combined bending and torsion and stresses in thin tubes that is thin cylinder in previous video you have learned member subjected to uniaxial force and shear force we have solved one example numerical example on type 1 In this video we will solve one example on three dimensional stress system as all these theories are based on principal stress we must know the formulae which are used to calculate principal stress maximum shear stress this we have already discussed in previous video so stress at elastic limit is denoted by sigma e which is equal to sigma y which is calculated using tension test on the member in uniaxial direction we will revise these theories of failure quickly the first theory which is rankin's theory in this theory we equate maximum principal stress which is calculated to the stress at elastic limit which is cal which is determined using tension test major principal stress we calculate using this formula then second theory is maximum shear stress theory or tresca's theory in this we equate shear stress to the failure shear stress so sigma t max is equal to sigma e by 2 using this formula we calculate the factor of safety or whichever unknown quantity we want to calculate so in this sigma t max is given by major principal stress minus minor principal stress divided by 2 it is average of this this we have to equate to shearing stress at elastic limit next is maximum strain theory which is also called as maximum principal strain theory or saint venant's theory in this we calculate this strain you know that stress upon strain is equal to modulus of elasticity so stress upon modulus of elasticity is strain this is calculated using tension test and this is actual maximum strain in the member which is subjected to three dimensional stresses principal stresses in three direction sigma 1 sigma 2 and sigma 3 so equating these two we get the unknown quantities in maximum strain theory or maximum principal strain theory next is maximum strain energy theory 
which is also called as Beltrami and Hay theory. In this, we equate strain energy. So this is the formula for strain energy in three dimension. You have to remember this formula and equate it to strain energy at elastic limit per unit volume. Next is maximum shear strain energy theory, which is also called as maximum distortion energy theory or one misses theory. In this, these are the stresses in three dimensions, sigma one, sigma two and sigma three. This we have to equate to twice sigma e square. This is the shear strain energy theory. Using all these theories, sometimes we have to calculate the safe permissible stress. So safe permissible stress is the yield stress divided by factor of safety. So yield stress may be denoted by sigma y or it may be denoted by sigma e that is stress at elastic limit. So sigma y or sigma e is given in the example and our aim is how to calculate the factor of safety. So the complex state of stress system is given, sigmas are given and we know sigma y and our aim is to calculate the factor of safety for that problem. Let us solve a numerical example on three dimensional stress system. So this is the given problem. Certain steel has proportional limit of 280 Newton per millimeter square in simple tension. So this is nothing but sigma E. Sigma E is 280, sigma E or sigma Y is 280 Newton per millimeter square. Under a certain three dimensional stress system, the principal stresses are 120 MPa tensile, 60 MPa tensile and 30 MPa compressive. So here the sigma one, which is the maximum principal stress is 120 MPa means Newton per millimeter square. Sigma two is 60 Newton per millimeter square and sigma three is minus 30 Newton per millimeter square because it is compressive. And we have to calculate what is the factor of safety using all these theories of failure, all the five theories of failure. And it is given that Poisson's ratio is equal to 0.3. Poisson's ratio may be denoted by mu or one upon m. So this is given as 0.3. So in this problem, so given data is sigma one, 120 Newton per millimeter square, sigma two, 60 Newton per millimeter square, and sigma 3 is minus 30 Newton per millimeter square. And stress at elastic limit using tension test is 280 Newton per millimeter square. And this mu is also given 0.3. So let us solve this example using all the theories of failure. Now, whenever we have to calculate the factor of safety, we have to equate the safe permissible stress and not the actual sigma y or sigma e. So safe stress is equal to sigma y upon factor of safety. Now let us see how to calculate maximum principal stress using maximum principal stress theory. We are calculating factor of safety. So first theory is maximum principal stress theory. It is also called as Rankine's theory. And we know that in this theory we equate maximum principal stress to stress at elastic limit. But here we have to equate permissible stress, that is we have to divide the sigma e by factor of safety. So this equation now becomes sigma one is equal to sigma e divided by factor of safety because this is the permissible stress and we are interested in calculating factor of safety. So just substitute sigma one and sigma e which is given in the problem. So sigma one given is 120 tensile. So for tensile, we are using positive sign 120 and this sigma is given as 280 Newton per millimeter square. So using this relation, you can calculate factor of safety. So factor of safety is equal to 280 upon 120, which is equal to 2.33. So 2.33 is factor of safety using Rankine's theory in this case. 
let us calculate factor of safety using maximum shear stress theory which is also called as tresca's theory in tresca's theory we equate sigma t max that is maximum shear stress to shearing stress at elastic limit now here instead of sigma e we have to write sigma e upon factor of safety because we are using permissible stress and sigma t max is given by difference between greatest and least principal stress divided by 2 so let us apply this to our problem so let us first calculate actual maximum shear stress using tresca's theory it is difference between greatest and least principal stress divided by 2 so which is equal to 120 minus now remember here we have to substitute minus 30 because it is compressive stress so remember this minus sign minus of minus 30 divided by 2 which is 75 newton per millimeter square so this is the actual stress now what is the permissible stress permissible stress safe shear stress is sigma e by 2 now here we are calculating permissible shear stress so we have to divide by factor of safety equate this sigma e is equal to 280 which is given in the problem which is 140 divided by factor of safety if you calculate so this is our equation number 2 equate this equation 1 and 2 we get factor of safety is equal to 140 upon 75 and therefore what is factor of safety it is 1.867 using tresca's theory next is maximum strain energy theory so let us calculate factor of safety using beltrami and hay theory in this we equate strain energy so strain energy is given by sigma square by twice e and this is the actual strain energy in the member which is in terms of sigma 1 sigma 2 and sigma 3 if you equate this 2e will get cancelled and we get this equation just substitute the values of sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 mu and sigma e in this expression so here instead of sigma e we have to write sigma e upon factor of safety to get the permissible stress here so let us equate this and calculate factor of safety so here instead of sigma e we write sigma e divided by factor of safety so substitute all the values and remember that sigma sigma 3 which is compressive we have to write minus 30 for that other values are positive and sigma 3 is negative so substitute all this value equate it to 280 is the sigma e given so we will get by this factor of safety using maximum strain energy theory so here if you calculate this side it is 17820 is equal to 280 square upon factor of safety square remember this is square so using this if you calculate what you get factor of safety is equal to 2.097 so this is how we calculate maximum using maximum strain energy theory now fourth failure theory is maximum shear strain energy theory which is also called as von mises theory for this this is the expression you have to remember this expression and remember that sigma 3 is negative so negative of minus of minus will be positive so substitute everything in this formula sigma 1 is 120 sigma 2 is 60 and sigma 3 is minus 30 so remember this minus 30 and substitute all the values we get this left hand side 34200 is equal to 2 times 280 square upon factor of safety square so from this we get factor of safety is equal to 2.14 so this is how to calculate factor of safety using von mises theory now last theory is maximum principal strain theory which is also called as st venard's theory here we equate principal strain so it is given by sigma e upon e so the instead of sigma e we have to write sigma e upon factor of safety just that is only the change equate this 
to left hand side here sigma 3 is negative so substitute all this now first we will calculate maximum principal strain using this formula so using this formula substitute sigma 1 sigma 2 mu and sigma 3 now here remember this is positive sign so we get actual maximum principal strain is 111 upon e so this we have to equate to permissible so permissible is sigma e upon factor of safety into e so let us equate it to permissible value now permissible shear uh, principal strain is sigma e upon factor of safety into e so this expression we get let us call this as equation 2 now equate equation 1 and equation 2 you will get factor of safety is equal to 280 upon 111 so from this we will get factor of safety is equal to 2.52 so in this way we can apply all these theories of failure to solve a problem on three dimensional stress system so we have solved this problem using these five theories so stay connected to watch more videos on strength of material and structural analysis and design thank you